Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. So, uh, I was in the process. I was going to start building this kit, but I realized I never did an unboxing. So, I figured I might as well let you guys see it and unbox it. Uh, this is not being made anymore, but I don't think it's that hard to find. It's the Revel uh, Halo Pelican kit. Whoever bought this one paid 10 bucks at Ollie's, which I definitely did not get mine at Ollie's. And I definitely paid more than 10 bucks. But, I mean, I think you can still find them at a reasonable price. I think I actually got this off Amazon uh, for like 20 bucks, I guess. So it says it has lights and it has sounds and includes two pilots. I wonder if they're uh, Spartans or... Colonial Marines or ODST. Either way, let's just get it out. Let's see what we got. Because that's the only reason I turned the camera on is I saw all this stuff. It's pretty packed in here. Uh, and this is the first time I've taken it out. So I saw all this stuff and I said, well, let me see if, you know, it's worth doing an unboxing. So right off the bat, it looks like you get this frame. So that gives you an idea of the size, which I kind of like. I think that's a good scale. Uh, I have my Spartan. Where's my Spartan at? When I need them, I can't find them. Where'd Master Chief go? Uh -huh. Master Chief! I am Master Chief. Ah. So we got Master Chief. Uh, looks like they've got some kind of pre-colored painting on here. I'll take that out. Uh, we got some other components. Now, I don't know if it came like this originally or if the person that bought it just tossed everything back in here. So this is the halo covering. Now, I was thinking of painting this, but I saw one guy who built one of these on YouTube, and he didn't paint his. What he did was he just went over it with the wash, went over that green with the wash. Now, I don't know if that's going to be enough for my gaming purposes. I think he just did that for his display purposes. So, oh, I like this cockpit, or at least the cockpit uh, cover. You see that? Alexa, turn on the light. <clears throat> so hot here. I'm trying to keep the lights off as much as possible. I'm not sure how to help you with that. So we have these here. And again, I don't I don't know if any of this is still the way it's supposed. Holy cow, look at the two pilots. These two guys are the two pilots to give you some idea of the scale on this thing, which I don't believe that's to scale. If the pilots are that little, they couldn't even sit in the front of this thing. But, yeah, that's what the pilots are supposed to be in scale, which I don't think that's going to be much use to me. Looks like some more parts. Some more parts. Some more parts and then this looks like the electronics so it looks like you pull this thing out here and then I think you can get all your electronics so I wonder if they still work uh, <coughs> so is it do you press this or pull it out all right let's let's pull that out <coughs> I'm not really holding out for the electronics but it would be nice. Well, that didn't do anything. I don't see any lights or sound or action. Oh, wait, there we go. <clears throat> and then, yeah, your pilots would go in there. So that's interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's see about the pilots here. I haven't even got to the instructions, but I can already see where these guys go. 
so you can put one there. And it looks like they are Spartans. Or are they? No, one is a Spartan. The other one, I'm not sure. I don't know. It just may be a pilot. But right there in the back, that looks definitely like a Spartan. And anyway, we got those. So let's open up the rule book real quick. Read this before you begin. Caution, position all parts in this kit carefully. Parts will only snap together once. So that means once you snap them in, you can't pull them back out. All right, so this is your part list. This is your beginning assembly stage. That looks like the ramp door, the seat for your pilots. These two portions, which drop into the ship. Oh, you got some decals. UNSC, so I might use those on some other things too. Then the top part clips in. This G part clips in. The back part, kind of the back stabilizers. Underneath part. Some more underneath. Sides sides, your wings, sides, and they tell you to put the pilots in last, and then the cockpit. So, you're not supposed to have to paint this, so I mean really, you can really just start putting it together. You know, if you were going to paint it, I think you might want to pre-paint some of these pieces before you start dropping them in, but... I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to start putting this together. Uh, I will let you guys see as much as possible. So let's start with this here. Part one. Which is this part there. And. This door. Which I think this ramp. Which I think I saw. Here we go. So the ramp should go in like this. I think that's it. Hmm. Yeah, well, I don't think that's quite it because otherwise it won't snap shut and I know they said you can only snap these in here once but I didn't exactly snap this one in so I'm going to try to readjust that so this should be on the outside this comes in and if you just kind of bend this a little yeah so now we've got that clean snap the pilot seat just drop straight down here. It says that should be sticking out or protruding. Oh yeah, and then there's some grooves here. So you see these grooves? You line them up with those poles. And that goes in there, no snap. But I think that's right. So we're done with part two. Part three is looks like these parts and we have a male and female and so we just put these together like this did snap there and that drops down here so you want to line this up, I think. Yeah, I think this lines up here. So it's kind of nice because this, you see this little notch here? That lines up with this there. So you just put that in there. And you snap these back here. And that's in. And of course your back door, whoa. 
Oh, I hit this. <laughs> okay. Next, we go with the cover. So we have everything inside that I can see. So, uh, one second. All right, we are back. Sorry about that. I had an alarm go off on some items I'm bidding on. Um, I did get the top one here. So I think that's all you missed. Uh, I just kind of put this brace in there. And now I am putting in these uh, exhaust or turbines or whatever they are. So those are in. We need this piece here. Which looks like it's in this bag. I will say so far most of this has went together quite easily with no real surprises and things. At first getting that top on I thought it wasn't going to go on evenly because it was a gap but I was able to work it and close it uh, you know and that was one I was afraid because they were saying you know once it clicks you can't unclick it so I think this is the right piece I mean that looks like the right piece it's sticking up a bit all right, next we need, we're going to be doing this piece here, which is here. Which way does this go? It faces this way or that way. Now this is where you can use the box sometimes. It looks like according to the box, it's on this way. So. Plus, the slots are a little bit different. I think they did that on purpose. Although, no, I guess they didn't because these are not mated to those slots. They just, they're just round. All right, so we are on this part, which is now the bottom. And it looks like we're going to be using this. And what else? I guess that's all for now. That went on. Next, we need kind of this uh, platform there and that which I think this is the platform and then this is here so we're gonna lift this up the uh, ramp and this will go in like this again no real argument as a uh, Max would say in Max's models. If you haven't watched his YouTube channel, I recommend it if you're into modeling. And we got that. So we will go to number 10. This is actually coming together quite quickly, which is a little surprising. Okay. Second, I've got some stuff on my computer that I am trying to put some bits in. But this website is crashing. Second. Okay, so here we're going to do the side brackets, which looks like this and this. And from what I can see, this one goes in like that, or are they reversed? Uh, and then this one. Well, this one is definitely going in like this, so I don't think they're reversed. Mm, yeah. Even those look like even if you didn't do them right, you could just take them off and do them over. So those are in, and then we're going to put these kind of gates or doors over there. OK, 
Okay. One second, I'm checking something on my iPad. These are here. So looks like looks like they should go this way. Yeah, and those will slot right in here. Actually, there's a little there's a little notch on there that they slot into. So that should help you to make sure you have them in the right spot if you can see these notches all right and actually I will say this is a very tight kit like this is this is not loose so well, this is the only part that looks like you, know, you gotta kinda work it under there I wonder if I put this too far out too far back This should fit in there. You gotta share. You two gotta share that spot. So anyway, as long as it stays closed. Next, we are on 12. And so we are going to take a wing section here. And a, we will move this out of the way for now. This is a sub build or what we call a sub assembly in the modeling world so we're going to take one of these which goes like that it doesn't look like it matters how you put it in and one of these which goes like this and there's a few slots to line up in here but it looks like they should line up that's this here I don't know if it matters which one I put in here, but I better I better make sure. So this is one with the with the grooves here. Because there's another one very similar without any. So pay attention to that. I can't tell though what's a left right a left or a right one, but that one was a little tight. So usually if it's tight tight then that means maybe it's not the right one so this one is actually nicer yeah and then we have one of these which does not face that way it should face this way right all right okay so that is kind of a wing sub assembly let's see what else we got going on here What else do we have going on here? Sorry about that. We're going to do another one of these. This one. Here. Here. Oh. Is this the right one? Huh. Here. And then here. Right. Yep. And we have another wing sub assembly. So we have both of those done. We now come back over here. And one. We have one that's going there. And one that's going there. And these actually are sweet because. You fit them in here and then the wings can rotate. 
VTOL. Gives you vertical takeoff and landing. Now, it does feel like you got to kind of work these in here because... Uh, you don't want to break that or you're going to have to glue it and it won't give you it won't give you the rotation so this one went in good this one is is arguing with me but let me go straight there we go well, I was a little nervous to push too hard but I had to push okay Let's see what's next. So, now this is odd because they don't show you what it looks like on the bottom, but I think it's this piece. You get one of these. Like that. And we're going to take another one of these. Which I don't really think it matters which way this goes, let me say though. Because that didn't really feel right. Let's try this way. Uh. Alright, so I heard a click. Let me get that in there. And then you do the other one. Again, we put this in here. This should give us a click. No click this time. And then we're going to make these up. So this one should mate up with this one. And we got a click. And this one should mate up with this one. And we got a click. So let's see here. And what do we got here? Sorry, I'm checking something on my computer. Okay. So these go back here. And I think this one will go here. I think these rotate too. Right. So I'm just going to look in here and make sure that's pretty much clear. I mean, and there's nothing in there blocking it that's going to snap it. That one went in. This one is the same thing. This is not as tight as some of the other things. I mean, this uh, fit, but I think they're both on there. And these actually rotate. Now, I'm hoping I put these in facing the right way. Uh, let me check the box again. Because I just want to make sure that this... This exhaust is is facing the right way, and that shouldn't be to the back. Yep, that's how it is on there. And that's how it is on here. So those are on there. And let's go to 14. We put the pilots in. I've already got my pilot in. We put... That's weird. Well, these go in there. This goes here. Yeah, I guess that's it. Where's the landing gear? Cause did we miss a step? Because this is saying put the cockpit on. And then it's got to put the decals on. But it never told us how to get this landing gear. And I've got two parts here. 
which is not a good feeling when you get to the end of a model and you've got two parts. So what did I skip? Oh, it's just right here. So it's upside down. One of these goes in here. So that fit. And one goes in here. All right, so now we have what I think is the landing gear with this here. Although this does not come down. Oh, yes, it does. So that gives you your landing gear. That gives you your sound. And the only thing we have left to do, ladies and gentlemen, is put the cockpit in. Which kind of, I'm assuming, just kind of clicks under there. Yes. And there you go. You have a UNSC Pelican assembled right before your eyes. So I will probably wash this with a... Uh, a black wash, maybe a green, a dark green, I could do that. Because uh, that would darken the color up, make it look a little more realistic. Uh, but other than that, it's, I think it's fine. I'm not going to try to paint the whole thing because I don't want to mess up my uh, canopy and some other parts. I may look online and see if anybody else has painted theirs and if I like that whether I might use it or not but to give you a little scale that is Master Chief right here outside of the Pelican that has landed so and like I said you can use this in some games of uh, five parsecs from home bug hunt you know as a landing dropship I do not see any armament on here unfortunately but uh there is a there is a back hatch where you can land some some marines you can land some uh spartans so we see master chief and the spartans unloading i think it goes like that yeah yeah so you i don't know if you can see them but master chief is under there Man, isn't, you're not going to be able to see it. Well, there we go. So you can see Master Chief can fit under there standing up. So I can put a whole team of whole team of Spartans. Maybe even some Space Marines. Let's see if I have any Space Marines around here. Well, here's a few. And they are coming down with Master Chief. Ha, ha, ha. Did you see that? Did you see it? There we go. Yeah, I like this Pelican. I don't know what took me so long to build this. I almost want to get two. I'm serious. Now I want to get another one. Because then you could have one Pelican drop off Spartans. Another Pelican drops off Space Marines. Wouldn't that be cool? Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I just thought I'd share some hobby time with you. Take care. God bless. Thanks to all my uh, patrons and everybody that's keeping up with the channel or whatever. So it's really appreciated. All right. Bye-bye. <clears throat>